Chaos Control! Hello everyone, my name is Jordan the Hedgehog and welcome back to Final Fantasy IX. Last time, we had been, uh... We pretty much uh, had a battle to save the princess, uh, but uh, unfortunately, we weren't able to save her, but, uh, but then uh, Vivi was gonna be taken away and we saved Vivi instead. But then after that, uh, Vivi and Steiner got uh, injected with some dangerous seed uh, poisoning from from the, those dangerous plants we were fighting. But now we are on uh, on the way to save the princess once again. Um. Okay then. Well, it looks like we know what we need to fight. What have we got here? A giant oversized flower. Speaking of which, uh, I've actually been doing quite a bit of level up, leveling up for Steiner and Vivi. And as you can see, Zidane is at level 8, while the two of them are at level 7. Also, I do need to change uh, Steiner's weapon to the Iron Sword, because I've been also maxing out um, everybody, everybody's abilities. As you can see... Okay, here's the giant overgrown plant that we need to defeat. There she is. So, this is the master. Princess! You stay out of this. Alexandria would be disgraced if a mere bandit should rescue the princess. You think you can handle him on your own? <laughs> yeah, no words, huh, Steiner? Let's get him, Phoebe! Well, time for the first boss fight! An overgrown weed that we need to that we need to destroy. Uh let's go for steel first. Uh, stole Iron Helm. Uh, Sword Art? Minus Strike? Damage with the difference between your max HP and current HP. Okay, that would not be useful. I guess we'll use Fire with Sword Magic. That was a nice amount of damage. Couldn't steal anything. A 
let's just do regular attacks for for now, so I can get Zidane to steal whatever else there is need to be stealing. Couldn't steal. Oh, come on, Zidane. Oof. Stole eye drops. Okay, I guess that's somewhat decent. I'll just check if he has anything else to steal. Not unless uh, BB and Steiner eliminate him before. Oof, I made it just in time. Step aside, I'll take care of this. Okay, if you say so, Blank. Uh, throw... Throw Zidane a high potion. He needs it. Okay, this thing doesn't have anything else to steal. We can finish the job then. Oh, we got it! We took care of that overgrown weed. No experience, but we got five uh, ability points. Sweet! <laughs> Princess! Please, get a hold of yourself. Zidane, give her the stuff. <laughs> Princess, please try to drink all of it. Is she gonna be okay? Oh man, what now? Oh dear. Oh jeez, it's little baby weeds. Jeez, we're gonna be surrounded. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Go. What are you waiting for? Okay, we gotta run. Uh, before I do, uh. I just want to check, uh... Ah, oh, equip, uh... Sorry, I'm, I'm just gonna take that off your hands, Blank, for a second. Oh, come on, Zidane! Jump! Oh, wonderful! Those things caught up to us! Four of them, huh? Uh, use a potion on... Potion on Steiner, and I guess we'll have Zidane start attacking these things. Okay, now BB doesn't need a potion. A 
Where where are my eye drops? Let me get rid of the Let me get rid of this blindness on all of our characters. That's two down. Take some eye drops, baby. At least that's those things done and dealt it with. Okay, just a quick second. Use the eye drop on Zidane and Steiner. That way they'll be able to attack enemies. What are you doing? Something's wrong. What? The entire forest is coming after us. Blank, take care of everyone. What did he mean by that? Blank. Damn it. That idiot. Blank. I hope she gets well soon. This is all his fault. Have you nothing to say, you filth? Oh. <coughs> P Princess Steiner? How did I survive? You brought me here? It is my sworn duty to protect you at any cost. What are you talking about? It was Vivi's magic and my dagger that got you out of there, Princess. I thank you both. That monkey deserves no praise. None of this would have happened if you and your band hadn't abducted the princess. And how dare you claim that you have rescued her. When we get back to Alexandria, I will Steiner. I left the castle of my own will. What a coincidence, eh? We went to snatch her, and she wanted to be snatched. Impossible. 
It's true. So what do you say, Westy? Friends? Come on, let's let's just enjoy this camping trip while it lasts. Camping, you imbecile! Surely even you must know something about the mist. The vicious monsters it spawns, the abnormalities it stirs in the mind and body. Princess, we must leave this dangerous place at once. You've got to be kidding. She hasn't even fully recovered yet. Silence. Who asked your who asked for your opinion? Oh, I right, tell me. How do you plan to get out of here? We're standing in a valley surrounded by tall cliffs. And last I heard, North Gate and South Gate were sealed off. Yeah, that's what I thought. The princess can barely walk right now. You went through this. You should know. I think we should rest here for now. I will never follow your Steiner. State your sworn duty. What else? To protect Princess Garnet Teal Alexandros. Very well. Until the princess recovers, I will guard this place with my life. Sounds good to me. Vivi? Let's get some rest. <laughs> nice, nicely done, Sedan. You outsmarted old Steiner there. How are you feeling? Good. Thanks to thanks to that medicine you gave me. Could this be... Yeah, I was surprised too. After we beat that big plant guy, the forest got completely petrified. Vivi told me that we were able to escape because of your friend. His name is Blank. We must go help him. We can't do anything for him right now. But... I can't. We'll come back for him. I'm sure there's a way to cure him. Let's get going. According to the map that Blank gave me, there's a cavern to the south of us. Maybe we can get above the mist through that cavern. Are you alright? Everything's gonna be fine. Trust me. Look, there's something coming. It's a Moogle. Wait, Koopo. I'm impressed, Koopo. First time I've seen anyone escape from Evil Forest. You all must be strong, Koopo. But don't get cocky, Koopo. Lots of stronger monsters ahead. Before you go out to the world, Mogster will teach you a few things. Active time event. Uh, teach me, Mogster. Lesson one. Hey, bro. What are you gonna teach me today? Lots of neat stuff. You're gonna love this lecture. Help menu, what's that do? When you see uh, in the menu, press select and, uh, and I'll come help you anytime. After you're done with your help, press select so I can leave. I'm usually pretty busy, so try not to keep me too long. Battles. First I'll go over the battle controls. Confirm, cancel, cycle to the next ready character when the ATB gauge is full. Hold down to clear menu. Select single or multiple targets. Turn the target window on or off. Pause. Turn on, turn on or off help. Okay. Next, I'll talk about ATB. 
ATB stands for Active Time Battle. Time during battle is managed by the ATB system. There are two ATB modes, Active and Wait. You can select them in the Config menu. Active, always real time. Time never stops during battle. Wait, time stops while you are selecting magic and items. If you are a beginner, I think you should choose Wait. Active is more for advanced players. Now let's go over damage control, damage points. Numbers and details pop up during yeah, yada yada yada. Green numbers indicate HP recovery. Uh, green numbers indicate MP recovery, okay. Miss, critical, death and guard. Finally I'll give you some tips regarding order or uh, no. Okay, front row, back row. Okay, uh, abilities. Use them wisely. Using them wisely is the key to victory. There are tons of different abilities, but generally they fall into two categories. Action abilities, support abilities. Ah, okay. So the red ones are the action ones, the blue ones are supports. Ability name not equipped, ability name equipped. Uh huh. Ability that can be learned, that cannot be learned. Okay. Uh huh, okay. Trance. Let's... When trance occurs, the character transforms. Your powers increase while you're, while you're under trance. In addition to greater attack power, you receive new battle commands. It's really amazing how much you can change. Here are some facts about Trance. 1. The Trance Gorge increases as you take hits from the enemy. The Trance Gorge 2. The Trance Gorge does not increase if you get hit by other party members. 3. If you get afflicted by a zombie, the Trance Gorge goes down completely. 4. When the Trance Gorge feels completely, it's party time. Conditions that stop or prevent trance. End of a battle, trance gorge goes back down to zero. During battle, trance gorge decreases to zero as you take actions during battle. You could say that the origin of trance comes from hostility. The hostile energy of the enemy's attacks induces trance. That's why being attacked by your allies can cause trance. Also, I heard that there is an ability that helps you achieve trance faster. By the way, the trance gorge appears both in battle and in status menu, which is under the main menu. Unfortunately, not everyone can achieve trance. I guess it's only for the chosen ones. Or maybe it's just a myth. I've never seen anyone achieve it. Icon that appears over the head, uh, nah, nothing else. Gosh, bro, you sure know a lot. Yeah, I know. I have a gift for you, Koopo. Take this flute. Received Moogle's flute. With this flute, you can call us anywhere in the world, Koopo. Press square to play. It's... Happy trails, Koopo. Thank you. Koopo Bo. Bye, Koopo. What the? Who goes there? Your friends already left, Koopo. Princess, wait. And off he comes. <laughs> okay, let's see. Normal navigation, enter buildings, uh, wider vehicle, call Moogle, toggle navigation map. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh, okay.
The Mist Continent. So that is where we have to go. But before we do head that way, I I want to head this way just real quick. What have we got? Little squirrels? They look like squirrels. Oh, I oh jeez, I just noticed that Garnet's really low on She's probably on level one now that I think about it. Let's see how much experience. 17, she gets a level up. Sweet. Already. I think this is the north gate. It's beneath the mist. Oh, pardon me. It lies between Alexandria and Bermisha. I think it's called Melda Ark or something. Fresh footprints and the smoke rising. That flag. That is Alexandria's war banner. How dare they commit crimes in the name of Alexandria? I should like to arrest and punish them if the circumstances were different. Let's get out of here. The cavern lies to the left of this arc. We'll follow the ledge. Yeah, but before we do leave uh, Zidane, there is a treasure chest over here. And we got some eye drops from it. Um, oh, we got another treasure chest, which had a potion. Oh, uh, can't go anywhere this way? Okay. All right then, back to the cavern. There's the cavern. Oh no! I overshot it. Ooh, what the heck is that thing? Another level, another level up for Garnet. Sweet.
Okay, let's enter the cavern now. This must be the cavern. Uh, um, what's up, Vivi? Have you ever heard of the ice cavern? Sure, is this the place? I think so. It's supposed to be near Evil Forest. I've heard of it. It's supposed to be a beautiful place covered in ice. My grandpa told me about this place. He said the cavern takes travelers to the top of the mist. Bravo! Master Vivi's grandfather must be quite a scholar. We must thank him upon escaping the mist. My grandpa used to teach me lots of things, but he passed away. Oh, forgive my indiscretion. Don't worry about it. Well, why don't we go inside? Ice cavern. Oh, what a beautiful place. Seeing the actual cavern is so much better than reading about it. Oh, how wonderful. I wonder what kind of flower this is. Princess, please don't touch anything. Can we get moving? I'm freezing here. Don't worry, Zadam, we're gonna get a moving now. Let's open this treasure chest first. A tent. That'll come in handy. I didn't want to go down. Strange wall. There's gotta be something behind it. Hey, Vivi. Y yes. Can you break this ice? Can you break this wall down with your magic? Uh, I'm coming. Whoa! I knew it. See? There might be other walls like this. I'm counting on you, Vivi. Sh sure. Got an ether. Potion? What kind of enemies will we bump into in the ice cavern? Probably some ice-based enemies.
Or, I wonder what I can use that for. Potion from this chest? Huh? Whoa! Ah! So that's how I get the second one. Mage Masher! I wonder who can equip that? Not Garnet. Well, speaking of Garnet, um, okay, she can't really equip that. That would increase her evasiveness and her magic evasion. And that increases her magic defense. Eh, I guess why the heck not. Now, let's see. Zadan. Mage Masher. Detect. That'll probably come in handy. Anything else? No, it doesn't. No, nothing else. Oh, there's an another. There's another ice wall I can melt down. Huh? What's this? Whoa! Oh, come on, really? Got myself an elixir. Now let's get a move in. Oh, there's a treasure chest over there. I wonder how I get to it. There's another treasure chest over here too. A phoenix down. Oh, another ice water mount. So, uh, I'm assuming... Oh, what have we got here? Oh no, not a back attack! Uh, let's use Cure on Garnet. Uh, sword on that thing. We'll use Fire on this one. At least her HP is over 100 now. Those enemies look like weird, weird little, uh, blubbers of jelly. And Garnet gets another level up. Nice. Now as I was saying before I was interrupted, 
yeah, I figured that this would lead to the treasure chest around the corner. A leather whip. Okay, let's see. Who can uh, who can equip the Leverwist? Beast Killer and Blizzard. Hmm. Oh, ah. Uh, I can give it to BB uh, to learn Blizzard, but he can't learn Beast Killer. But if I give it to Zidane, he can learn Beast Killer, but not Blizzard. Hmm. Let's give it to Vivi. I'd rather have Vivi learn a new spell uh, more than have Zidane learn a new skill. And besides, I've already got Beast Killer on Steiner, so I don't need to worry too much about that. Let's head up this path first. Well, what's this? I can barely see what's in this. Oh, it's a Moogle! Hot, hot, hot! You bastards! Oh, I can move again. Thanks, Kupo. Uh, came to a misunderstanding there for a second, but <laughs> I'm glad he realizes that we saved him. The second less, the second lesson with a uh, monster, huh? Hey, bro, what are you gonna teach me today? Lots of neat stuff. I'm gonna give another interesting lecture today about what this time. Status effects. Elemental properties and card game. I'm curious to know about the card game. The official name of the card game is Tetra Master. Many people all over the world play Tetra Master. The only way to find out who plays is by challenging them. Tetra Master players never back down from a challenge. To challenge people, walk up to them and press square. If you challenge a person who isn't a player, he or she will probably just talk to you. Okay, here are some basic rules. Tetra Master, rules 1. Select 5 cards in your possession to play. 1. Put down a card by your opponent's card. 2. If the arrow on your card points to your opponent's card, you can win his or her card. If the arrow on your card faces the arrow on your opponent's card, a card battle begins. If your card wins the card battle, you win the opponent's card. If your card loses the card battle, your opponent wins your card. If you have to battle two or more cards, you can choose the opponent's card that you want to battle. The game ends once all the cards are played, and the person with the most cards is the winner. The winner gets to take the loser's card. The Tetra Master has other rules, but I won't get, get into them now. Just give it a try and figure them out for yourself. Sure, when I actually encounter people. Status effects, that's what I would like to know as well. Status refers to a character's condition. There are good status effects and bad status effects, so pay attention. We'll go over the bad status effects first. The following status effects go away when the battle is over. Okay, bad status effects one. Confuse, you lose control of your character. Berserk, although strength increases, the character can only attack. Stop, the character cannot move. Poison, HP gradually decreases. Well, duh, that's to be expected of poison. Sleep, the character falls asleep and cannot move. Slow, the ATB gorge fills up slowly. <coughs> uh, 
Pete, the terrible burns cause KO if the character takes any action. Freeze, the character becomes frozen and gets KO'd if physical attack, physically attacked. Oh, okay, I'll, I'll have to keep that in mind. Mini, the character shrinks, which reduces battle power and defense. Now I'll discuss very bad status effects that don't go away after the battle is over. Oh boy. So those are the ones that do go away after the battle's over? These effects are displayed in the main menu. Okay, very bad status effects. One, petrify. The character becomes petrified and cannot move. Venom. HP and MP gradually decrease and the character cannot move. Oh, that's bad. Virus, the character cannot gain experience or AP after battle because growth is stunted. <laughs> oh my gosh. Silence, the character cannot use magic. Darkness, the character's vision is impaired and physical attack and physical attack accuracy decreases. Trouble, the damage one character the damage one character receives transfers to other characters as well. Zombie healing items and magic cause damage to the character. Gotta be careful of that. Alright, enough of the bad stuff. Let's talk about the good status effects. Auto life, the character revives from KO automatically once during battle. HP and HP are gradual oh wait, regen that is HP are gradually restored. Haste, ATB Gorge fills up faster. Float, the character floats and does not receive earth damage. Interesting. Shell, the damage from magic attacks decreases. Protect, the damage from physical attacks decreases. Uh, vanish, the character vanishes and cannot be hit by physical attacks. The character reappears if hit by magic. Uh, reflect. Magic is reflected back at the caster. Some magic cannot be reflected. Good to know. In addition to these, there are status effects known as Doom and Gradual Petrify. Remember this, if you, if all your party members incur KO, stop Petrify or Venom during battle, it's game over. Also, you won't receive experience or AP if you're still under KO, Petrify, Virus or Zombie when the battle ends. Oh, thanks for telling me that, uh, monster. Nothing else to talk about. Gosh, bro, you sure know a lot. Yeah, I know. <laughs> well, anyways, I think this will be a good spot to end the episode here for now. So. Thank you all so much for watching, and stay tuned for the next exciting episode of Final Fantasy IX. And until then, take care. Chaos Control!